Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden, and I'm so excited that you joined me today. Today, we're going to make easy safety pin dangles, but first, let's have our shout out to Diane, Marlene, Nancy, Mary, Sherry, this crafty counselor, Mags, Heather, and Melody loves her hobbies. I appreciate each and every one of you. Let me tell you what I have here. I have my little hole punch that punches a little tiny hole. I have some scraps, some lace, a little bit of fabric. I have some safety pins, the little tiny ones. I have my Sharpie marker. I have my vintage distress sink and I have a corner rounder. Let's get going. Let me move this out of the way and let me pull down what I have prepared. So what I have here are I have some large labels. It's one large label, I should say. I have a piece of one of my scraps that I was working with. All of, all of these have been, well, I just said they have been and they haven't been corner rounded. So I'm just barely taking off the tip on these, basically to keep it from getting um, bent and, do and dog tag tailed. Is that what you call it? It's just raggedy. <laughs> so it doesn't get raggedy. I have inked it. Now I'm just going to make sure that this gets the little black sharpie on the end. And then we're ready to put this together. I have a little bit, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, I have my labels. So Tracy Fox labels. And I have some material, a little strip of material, a little strip of lace, and a little strip of just decoration, which I got from this. I just cut it out of of this. I just cut around. And then a few of them are going to have these, which I just cut around. This came from an, a shirt that I bought at the thrift store. This was actually some type of lace that I bought on sale at the craft store quite a long time ago. So let's go ahead and put these together. So let's start by placing this down first. And then let's go ahead and add a piece of cotton that's been frayed like this. Actually, I think we better put a hole in it because we're not going to be able to probably put a hole through the material. So I'm just going to move it over just a little bit. So maybe something like this. And I'm going to put my hole in. Punch that hole. Now I'm going to take it apart and I'm going to lay this material right down here like this. I guess I better line my holes up. And maybe something like that. And I think I want this one on top. And then my label next, and then my little piece, right like that. Then let's grab our safety pin, open it up, and let's stick everything together. These are so easy, but they're so adorable. Look there. Look how simple and easy that is. You could stick this in a pocket. You could put it in an envelope. You could clip it onto a page. You could glue this part onto a page. You could glue three sides onto a page and use it as a tuck spot. There are lots of things you could do with these. Oh, they're so easy. Let's make some more. I've got my large label. I've got my little decorative page. I've got some net some lace. I've got a little strip of material, a strip of seam binding. I've got my small label and I've got my little lace piece. Now let's go ahead and construct this together. So I think I'd like to put this in between, this net. I think that would look really pretty. So let's get this net on here and then let's get our pretty piece on next. Then maybe our bigger piece of lace and then a piece of cotton. 
and a piece of seam binding like this. I'm just kind of putting it at an angle. I guess I probably should have placed my hole. Yep, I need to do that right, right. Do I want it this way or do I want it this way? No, I want it this way. Maybe something like that. Don't put your hole too far down because you're going to be able to, you're going to need to be able to put your safety pin. And I'm using the little tiny safety pins. So keep that in mind because they're not, you know, very big. And you can't, if you put your hole down too far, then your safety pin won't fit. All right, now let's go ahead. Let's get a gold safety pin this time. And put this on first and then the label and then I can actually see what happened there I think I can oh my goodness gracious why do I keep losing it okay there and we'll close it and there you go look at that one isn't that one pretty and they move and they sway and once again you can do all kinds of things with them beautiful absolutely beautiful now this one <clears throat> I have a large label I have a large piece of lace I have another large piece of lace I have my pretty piece of paper Let's see, I think we're going to do this one more like this. So I'm letting my lace stick up a little on the top. That's perfectly fine too. Let's put this down. And then how about a little bit of seam binding? Move it over just a bit because that's where my hole is. And then we're going to need to put, there's a two labels, two of them. I thought they went nice together, but you know what? I can see right now, I did not ink them, and I didn't use my little marker on either one of these. Goodness gracious, we need to do that in case anybody has missed what I'm doing with this marker. I'm going to show you what I'm doing with it. I've just started doing this and I'm sure I won't, you know, do it all the time, but I'm really liking it. It's a marker that has that chiseled edge, chiseled edge, I should say, and I'm just using it to darken the edge of the paper. That's all I'm doing. I'm just running it along the edge of the paper, just like that very simple and I just like how it makes it stand out now let's go ahead and give this a little snip snip a little punch what am I talking about once again we are babbling along not making much sense and let's grab ourselves a safety pin and I'm just going to put these all together. When I hold it up, I can see the hole through the material. Now I almost, I almost went too deep, but I made it. Oh my goodness, look at that one. I love it. I absolutely love these things. I think they look so cool. I have one more to make. And so let's start. It's a polka dot. I love this polka dot. It came out of a paper pack. No, it came out of a pack that I got at Tuesday morning that just is a whole pack of that and the other side's yellow. Yes, that's where that came from. So once again, I kind of liked when the, the net or the lace was above a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and use my punch, remembering not to go too, too down, too far. You go too far. And you'll make it so maybe you won't be able to get your pin in. There's my fabric. Here's another piece of net. Here's a piece of trim with sewing. And, oh, I need to yep, 
place a hole. I have one of my labels that I've made myself. I send those out in Happy Mail. And I get my pin. Let's put this on next. And then this. And I'm going to hold it up so I can see the hole. With the light shines through so I can see. And oh my goodness, isn't that one adorable? I love, love, love these, you guys. They're so easy to make. Let me show you two others that I made. There's this one. And there's this one. Oh, I love this one. Oh, you guys, you've got to try these. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.